My name's David Kinnick, living in Annapolis all my life. <laughs> I'm Debbie Kinnick. Uh, we moved to this house almost five years ago uh, so to have a, more bedrooms for the kids. Bella was born on drugs. They called us and says, where's Tyler? We said, he's at school. So we're picking him up from school. He says, okay, we're bringing Corey to you. So we had the boys for a little while, not too long. And they actually went home with mom and dad after uh, she got home from the hospital a few days later. Bella was in the hospital being detoxed for a month. DCS was working with them to try to get mom and dad to get um, their act together and be able to raise the kids. Um, Bella was five months old. I got a call. Uh, we ended up with the kids at that point. The DCS asked us to become foster parents. Within a couple years, they were given the choice, either we adopt them or they went into the system. So we decided at that point to adopt them. We chose to raise them because we wanted them to stay in the family. What's yep. familiar to them, that way they know who their family is and they still get to see them. And we didn't want them separated. The oldest one is Tyler. He's, he struggled the most. Uh, he's doing much better. He's out on his own now. He's 20. He's got an apartment. He works at FedEx. So he's doing really good. Corey is the second one. He's um, 16. He and his brother were very close because his brother was kind of looked out for him when they were still at home with mom and dad having the problems they went through. Tyler was the babysitter. Basically, he, he looked out for his little brother. Bella's, um, she's in sixth grade, she's 11. It's cool having the kids around. Yeah. Bella really wants to do things with me a lot, you know? And I'm afraid if they weren't here, I might not see them much, because I have other grandkids I hardly ever see. Yeah. Well, it, it was interesting because it was after we had adopted the kids, one of the counselors that mentioned the villages. Oh. We really just thought, well, we'll go see. So we went to a couple meetings, associating with other people that have issues that you don't realize is, oh, that's how they handle that. And if the villages didn't know or somebody else didn't, they would help and they would check, look into it for us. Yeah, they've done pretty good. Mm -hmm. They've helped out a lot.